arena stuff. What's up guys? It's Mike and it is the Friday vlog and it's dark now. Okay, so I just got something awesome in the mail. If you guys don't know, Premiere and all the editing software that I use involves a lot of computer stuff. And unfortunately, I'm not the best at knowing what's going to be going into my computer, but I did some research and let's take a look. I got my watchdog watching it. Check it. What's up, Casey? Yes. It's very beautiful, even in not taken out of the box yet. But we'll do some unboxing and we'll see how what we're getting. And then I'll show you guys putting it in the computer and hopefully getting everything set up so that way I can work with the rest of Arena. Casey, stop sniffing it. That way I can work with the rest of Arena and not have to have my computer slow down on me and go to like taking an hour to render one frame. Okay, so I decided to just put the flip on a tripod for this because I'm not going to have to be able to do this with, with just one hand on the flip and one on the scissors. So let's take a look at the first package. Well, new egg, I'm not I'm not liking this, but got it. Some bit of RAM here. But what I did was I actually got three four gigabyte memory slots. I currently have nine gigs on my computer. There are two there are three two gigs and three one gigs. I'm gonna take the one gigs out and replace them with four. So I'll be up to eighteen gigabytes of memory on my computer. I don't know if you can see that. GeForce GTX 580, three gigabytes. And, well, I did not know I was gonna be getting Assassin's Creed with it. Haha. <laughs> so, let's do some unboxing of this baby. Let's take a look at the actual process, uh, excuse me, the actual GPU itself. That is a big graphics card. See that? GeForce GTX 580. If you don't know, that's actually one of the top of the lines other than the GTX uh, 590. It's one of the top of the line GeForce products. Then you can go to the uh, actual professional grade, which are like the Quadro. You got this now. Basically, my computer already has one fan in it. I decided to get another one. It's rather cheap. It's about 12 bucks. But for a fan, it's actually rather expensive. But I need something that will haul air so my thing does not get overheated. Got myself this fan here for the CPU. Ah, yes. The TX850 from Corsair. 850-watt power supply. I must say... This thing looks powerful as heck. It's heavy as heck. But luckily, that'll be what's hooking up to everything else because currently my power supply is only at 450 watts. All right, and packing list. All that fun stuff. Paper, 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 and that's a wrap. Hey guys, I'm down in my basement now. I got back from school and now I'm going to start putting together the computer. So before we get to the installation, let's look at what we're going to be working with. I have my computer set down to the side right here. I'm going to be working with that. It's a uh, 2009 grade Essentio CG series. I've got Corsair, Corsair power supply. It's still in this kind of a felt material cover on it. Got our scythe. You can see here what model it is. We've got our G Skill Tri uh, Channel Memory GTX 580, a new CPU cooler, and some of the cords we're going to be working with, along with scissors, screwdrivers, and really anything else that we're going to be needing. I can go grab that. So now, let's get to it. <laughs>
I'm back. Sorry for the annoying little title there. I'm tired. I've been working for the past three hours, and if all these parts sitting around, and then, oh, would you look at that? It's back. Zotac G-Skill and powered by Corsair. The new computer, it's ready to go. And guess what it's doing right now other than being on my Facebook? It is Loaded Arena. In this entire area that was, I can zoom in here. Oops. Okay, this right here. These areas right here, this all used to be in, this all used to be in red, meaning that it needed to be rendered. Yellow means it doesn't need to be rendered necessarily. It might lag a little bit, but since it went from yellow to red, it shows that the new graphics on there working wonders with Premiere. So that means Arena will probably go smoothly when it comes to the rest of the editing. And 18 gigabytes of RAM equal non-stop fun. So that'll do it for this episode of how to rebuild your computer with Mike, even though I really didn't teach you anything. But I will see you guys later.